Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miya sha'ala. Koholo imla, yahawa ba'ashim yawashai, ba'ashim rakha ha'kodash, the honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you aki and akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. Shah Hananawah is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, as of late, been explaining and greeting, uh, which is what I said at first, I'm all praises. That's in the Paleo Hebrew tongue to Yahweh. That's the true name of our Father, you know, the Most High. God that created heaven and earth, which means that Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning an existing one or he is to be, um, by Hashem in the name, Yahweh Shai is the name of the son, our king, that's coming to get the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out of the hands of uh, the heathen, because we are the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel, and the reason why you're starting to see so much stuff going on as far as like these stories coming out about the so-called white man and, and and the way that he has treated you as a people is because in these last days these end times you know that that man of sin that son of perdition must be revealed and the true name of the son again is yahweh which means that he's a savior or deliverer in paleo hebrew and on um, the rakach dash that's the holy spirit and um you know we're taking back our culture man we're going back to our you know um native tongue we're starting to call on the true name of our father, our power, and he's going to get us out of the hands of our enemy soon, man. So I wanted to touch on this particular article right here. This is um, it says Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner torches Chick-fil-A CEO for video condemning racism. Amazingly crazy. And this is the way that these so-called white people think. They don't think they just they just feel as if oh it was so long ago. Forget about it. But they're about to celebrate 1776 next month. Where is it? June already. <laughs> or do, you know, 4th of July. They're going to celebrate 1776, the independence of their country. But why are they celebrating it since it was so long ago? You see? But when you talk about the same time period of what they've done to us as a people, you know, for, you know, centuries, they don't want to hear that shit. But you know what? This is the Lord's doing right here. Hey, well, let me grab a quick, quick scripture real quick before I get into this. Uh... This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requireth that which is past. He requireth that which is past. So the things that you so-called white people done in the past, you're not getting away with that. See, people don't, you know, see, people don't, since judgment doesn't go out like instantly, a lot of the times people just think that, there is no God. There is nothing that's going to be done about all the atrocities that have been done to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But as you can see, America is falling. And not only America, but all these European nations are falling. All of them are, um, um, are, are and, you know, their, their, their people are fucking having riots and burning down the town. And, you know, everything you look at on, on the news right now, it's like every single one of these European nations is the people are upset and in arms. Fighting against the police, <laughs> tear gas and shit being, th you know, they burning up police cars and shit, you know, they throwing, you know. So the uproars of the people are going down in this planet because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's, he's, he's visiting this place, man. And like I said, again, you so-called white people, you're not going to get away with the things that you've done to the children of Israel, man. You're going to pay for those things. But let's go back into it. Because if this, this CEO, if he's not an Israelite, his ass going into slavery too. He doesn't know that he's just, you know, <laughs> the same thing that's coming to the rest of the so-called white race is coming to him, too. According to Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And there's another scripture that talks about, um, uh, if a uh, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. I'm going to come right back. Salakia. Just flowing in the spirit, man. It'd be so many things be popping up. As, you, as we be teaching, we're just flowing the spirit. This is Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So it's a lot of death that's coming to America, for sure. Because even they have laws against human trafficking. 
But these hypocrites will tell you to forget about the human trafficking that they've done to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't want to hear that shit. But they do actually have laws where they will arrest your ass if they catch you with somebody, right? So this scripture is saying, and he that stilleth the man and selleth him, then they steal and sell us on the auction blocks? I think we was like the first commodity on the, on the stock exchange, man, in this place, man, in this country. Or if he be found in his hand, aren't we still in America? They tell you you're free, but you can't leave here without their credentials. You have to have their driver's license, you know, or their identification or their passport. Or you got to show that you've taken their shots, rolled up your sleeve, and you've taken all their disease shots and all this other shit. You can't just leave this place without their permission. But they'll tell you you're free, though. And then they'll take money out of your check every fucking week if you got a job. Taxing you. You paying tribute. So how are you free? So they still have us in their hands. Right. So let's go. Let's get some of the video. And, you know, it's crazy because the video is actually a minute and 44 seconds. I've been coming across 144 pretty much most of the day. I was going to a location. I pulled it up on, um, you know, Siri, you know, so. Uh, and I'm basically looking for a place to, um, you know, go and do some business at. So I look it up and the address is 14044. And then when I looked at the estimated time for me to get there as I'm pushing on, the, you know, the maps. It said 144. I would I would be there by 144. And that was today. I've been seeing it all day long. That was that that was probably like the <laughs> I probably seen that number 144. This is probably like the sixth, seventh time that I've seen it today. Literally. So hey, we, we're about out of here, man. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm one of the elect. I sure pray that I am, though. I pray that I'm a part of the elect, man. Because I have a a, a, a real righteous anger like my my king david man for this place man i have a righteous anger towards this place man it is vexing as shit man i'm not gonna front <laughs> i try and go throughout the day and do the best that i can with you know because this is it this is the day that the lord has made you know i will be happy and you know have joy in it roughly paraphrasing you know i try and do my best with that but when you're looking at the situation the whole thing is we're in a bad situation as a people here and our people don't get it. They just want to just live here. They don't give a fuck. They just, whatever, man. They just glad to just jump in the car and just go and just do a bunch of bullshit. Man, we want the kingdom, man. For real. We want out of these people's hands. We don't want them patrolling our neighborhoods and, 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 and throwing us in a goddamn cop car. We're going to be patrolling their neighborhoods <laughs> in this new kingdom to come, man. But let's get some of the video. Let's see. Fast food chain Chick-fil-A sparking some new woke outrage over its vice president in charge of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Eric McReynolds was appointed to the role actually back in November of 2021. It's unclear what exactly set off critics on social media yesterday, but it was everywhere. I'm sure you saw it, Jason. One user said, this is bad, very bad. I don't want to have to boycott. Are we going to have to boycott? Another tweeted, I will no longer be eating at Chick-fil-A. Some are even reprising the video from Chick-fil-A CEO oh, all the way back to June 2020. We didn't even know this existed. Watch this. At that revival on the front seat was an older African-American man, man that was sitting there. And this young man got up and he'd been so gripped with conviction about the racism that was in that local community in a small town in Texas that he, he took a, uh, a shoe brush and he walked over to this elderly gentleman and he knelt on his knees and began to shine his shoes. I, I invite folks to just to, to put some words to action here and if we need to find somebody that needs to have their shoe shine we need to just go right on over and shine their shoes. Any expressions of a contrite heart begin with an apologetic heart i think that's what our world needs to hear today jason last seconds of the show <laughs> yeah so there's pandering that goes on that i think is more offensive than anything else on the one hand i don't like the idea that we are looking for things to be offended by on the right but on the other hand this is the exact kind of nonsense that we have to push back against wow uh all right well it existed people unearthed it there it is jason rants thank and there you have it, man. 144. Isn't that something? See, the Lord is starting to begin to, be, to visit this place, man. It's a beautiful time that we're living in, man. So embrace this, this, this truth. See, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and hey, we're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations, man, that's coming. Jacob's trouble, man, because these so-called white people, see, the, 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 the thing of it is, is they're being backed into that corner. 
and they're going to be pushing out of that corner. They're not going to just go out like, and, 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 and you know, whoo, the hatred, you know, is just, let me keep it classy though. Let me just, let me just go to the scriptures, man. I'm, a, I'm you know, cause we don't need no striking these strict strikes and all that other stuff, you know, so let's just keep it classy. Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that was us. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We fell away from this truth. And, and we're just in a place of not knowing who we really are. Just think about it. You have to think about it. Like, we're the only race of people on the planet that don't know who we really are. We don't have a standing military. We don't have any land. We're just scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and these so-called white people have been been mistreating the shit out of us for hundreds of years. We don't have nothing. <laughs> Think about that for just just let that sink in. See, we blended in with these people. You know, they're calling yourselves Americans. You're calling yourselves French. You call wherever we're at, calling us ourselves after them. You know, but we are the Hebrew Israelites, and they know these elite. They especially know they 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 know who ex exactly who we are. But see, now the children of Israel are starting to raise up. The Lord is sending the prophets out on the highways and byways. And this truth is making a lot of noise, man. They scared this shit right now. They're shaking in their boots right now. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. So we fell away first. And that man of sin be revealed. Now the man, that part of the prophecy is that man of sin is being revealed. The son of perdition. This is the, this is the man of sin, the son of perdition. The so-called white man is him. It says, who opposeth and exalteth, verse 4 really proves it too. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who, who, who gave you a white Jesus? Who gave you a white God? Who gave you white disciples and white prophets in all these movies and all this other stuff? Why do we see a blonde haired blue eyed white Jesus? That's why when you go into Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where, who is he? It's a rhetorical question being asked. If this man is not him, then who is he? Because you can clearly see it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He's running the earth. He's the one that's running around sanctioning every goddamn body. This dude, Joe Biden, just the other day, he's talking about sanctioning um, Uganda for their um, laws against, you know, the alphabet people. Motherfucker, your country is all is fucked all up. You got a debt ceiling to try and deal with and everything. And here you go talking about sanctioning a whole other country that don't want to get down with your, your, your abominations, man. So that lets you know that they're running the world. They're sanctioning uh, Russia. They're sanctioning North Korea. They're sanctioning, you know, they, they, anybody that's not down with them, they, they sanctioning you, man. And they'll, you know, you know how many children, how many people, elderly and children and just people in general have passed away and died. Because America has sanctioned that country where they couldn't get medical supplies. They couldn't get medicine and, 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 and different types of things that they need, you know what I'm saying, to survive, food and stuff like that. They're just like, oh, no, we're sanctioning you. Now, in the backdrop, they're not telling you about how many children are dying from, that, for, from those sanctions, how many elderly people are dying from those sanctions, how many, you know, just, just people in general. That are dying from those sanctions because those countries that would normally deal with the countries that they're sanctioning, they can't deal with them no more. Or they know that they'll get sanctioned too. Why? Because the so-called white man's money, his face is on all the money, his face, especially the, the ones of America, they're running the globe. You can't say that they're not in power and they're not running this globe. They're the ones flying goddamn jets all over the skies all day long, spraying out chemtrails. You don't know what the fuck is you breathing in. They're in control of your food, your water, your, your, your condition. If you need any goddamn thing, you got to go to them for it. They're in control of all of it. It's all their laws. It's all their, their statutes. It's all their, their, their um, you got to go to their court system. You got to go and get a lawyer to, to actually understand the terminology that they use to even get something done in a court, court of law, so to speak. So, they, I mean, I'm talking about on a, on a grand scale. They are running everything. You can't say that this man is not him. And they gave you white Jesus. <laughs> and people are starting to see that as being some bullshit now. You see? But let me get one more scripture. And I'm going to be up out. I don't want to keep it long. This is um, Psalms 73. Let's start at verse 3. Uh, is this what I want? No, no, no. Psalm 64. It's a lock you. Psalm 64 and 8. 
It says, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See, they're, they're, they're telling on themselves. And you even have these ones, you know, that's just like, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some, there are some actual Israelites that look like so-called white people. Everybody is not going to look like, um, you know, uh, Oprah Winfrey or uh, a Wesley Snipes or, you know, that dark skin color. All of our people, because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth for too many generations. But you have to come from the seed line of your father, which, you know, or the seed line of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to be an Israelite. And there are Israelites that look like that man that was talking about shine on his shoe. You see what I'm saying? But the, all that shine on the shoe shit, that's not going to get him out of what's to come. This is what's going to happen to these people, man. Let's get um, let's get to the course, the, the source of this thing. Revelations 13. Let me start at verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. I quoted that earlier because that's really what's about to happen. Not only are you going to be shining fucking shoes, your ass going to be doing all the work. And the scriptures talks about giving you double. So the shit that you've done to us as a people, you're going to get double, man. And I can't even imagine that because our people will work to the fucking bone, bro. You get to looking at some of these documentaries and you get to looking at some of this, this history and then you can see why they don't want critical race theory in these schools because it's embarrassing to them. But a lot of the shit that they was doing, when you get to reading about some of that shit, you're like, God damn. You was making purses and shoes and wallets and shit out of nigga's skin. You was using the babies as alligator bait. You was, man, they were talking about, man, somebody, and them just real, them basic things that they was doing. We ain't talking about the stuff that they was really into, man. And it's going to all come to light, too, man. The Lord is going to show us, man. He's going to show us what's popping. So you so-called white people, man. Hey, look, man. Hey, this is your history. You can't get out of it. You can't get around it. This is your history, man. And here you go. You got this clown on the left, on the right, or the left on my phone here. He's sitting there looking stupid as hell with that dumbass hairdo. As if, because if he's an Edomite, he going to, directly into slavery. And he sat there and told her straight up, like, oh, it's ridiculous. You niggers. <laughs> How dare you, basically. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you see what it is, man. It's going down out here. Hey, this truth. This, this truth is moving. Hey, <laughs> the Bible app had to kick in on that. This truth is flowing throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And there's nothing they can do to stop it, man. It's full speed ahead. Juggernaut. You know what a juggernaut, when a juggernaut, he starts off slow. But when he picks up that speed, you can't stop it. It's just blowing through buildings. It's, and nothing can stop it. Knocking over trains and shit, just just continually just just footballing through this shit, man. Just a fullback. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec, man. With that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Inshallah.